So we all know how VO3 and even Sora 2 have been taking over the internet recently because of their realistic lip sync. Oh, thank you for the $2, Brokey. And insane physics. Well, VO3 is capped at eight seconds and Sora 2 is capped at 20 seconds. Now, what if I told you there was a tool that could create long form videos and even short films with consistent characters utilizing the top of the line models out now? With this, you can literally go from script to storyboard to full cinematic realistic scenes all in just a few clicks. And the best part, you can try it out for free. So before we jump straight in, I would advise you to join my community if you wanna learn how to make money with AI that I can't show on this platform. Also for this platform, if you wanna learn how to make money with AI and AI influencers, subscribe to my other channel. Okay guys, so this is the name of the tool that we're going to be talking about today and it's called Catalyst AI. Don't worry, the link will be in the description. As you can see, you can create visual stories with this, with consistent characters, which is what we are going for. And then, as you can see once again, you can try this for completely free so no need to sweat. And as you can see here, these are basically what it does. Script to storyboard in one click. No AI expertise is required, and it's literally faster than the normal production line. And then it's trusted by all of these credible sources. So yeah, let's quit the chit chat and just simply go on to try it for free. Now, as always, we log in with our Google account. So then, once you log in, you should be presented with this interface. And these are basically all the inspirations that you can use or basically all the templates. You can use them and modify them into your own. As you can see over here, you can generate from idea or script. You can start from a blank project or create presets, which you can create and save your settings as a template. That is cool. And then let's quickly get on to creating. So yeah, let's simply click on generate from idea or scripts. So then, as you can see, you'll be presented with this interface, and there are two things you can do. You can either upload your script if you already have it over here, or you can generate your script. But since I don't have my script, I can just simply generate my script. Okay, so we have this prompt here. Again, as you can see, you can either reduce or increase the number of scenes, and let's just simply click on Generate Scripts. As you can see, it has already started generating our scripts. And as you can see, in no time at all, the script is done generating for each one of the 10 scenes. I can simply go in here and edit each script however I want. And then if you still don't like how the script is, you can delete it all together, or you can simply modify the whole thing here. Like, for example, we can add something like this, and then we can simply click on Generate Script, and it would basically regenerate it. Then it's done generating again in no time at all. And as you can see, as always, we can still go in here and edit each scene as we want it. So yeah, over here we can also select the aspect ratio, but we'll leave it at 16 by 9 since we are thinking of creating a short story. And the one here is the setting, which we could also change. Let's say something like this. So yeah, we could change the setting to something like this and it'll still be intact. So yeah, once we're done with any adjustments we are doing, we can simply just click on next and it'll go to the next step, which is where we choose the style of our project. And there's a whole lot of styles for us to choose from, but as always, we want a normal cinematic or realistic style, but there is a whole lot here. So then we can simply just click on create project and it'll start working on the project. So then we're going to the character section and as you can see, we have these two characters here, and you can simply edit each of them. As you can see, here's the name, here's the character description, and here are the clothes. And we can also change the voice, but let's first change the description. We can describe the character's special features. Let's say something like this. So we have something like this. And then if we wanna change the appearance of the character, we can simply click here. And as you can see, we can select their default characters, or we could click to create from scratch. So let's basically paste in our prompt, something like this. So we have a prompt like this, and we can simply upload the facial reference, but we don't need to. So we can just click on Generate Preview, and it'll start generating the preview of the character for us. As you can see, it is done generating our preview, and this looks perfect. So yeah, we could simply save it. Now we've already put in a description. Then for the voice, I think the voice is okay, and we can simply click on Save. And then for the student, we can also click here. So then, as you can see, we're here. And we can simply change the description to this and also change the appearance. So let's create another custom character for this and simply paste in this prompt. This is for our second character. Click on Generate Preview. Okay, so in no time at all, it's done generating and it's an accurate description. One good thing about this is we could simply change our prompts anyhow and regenerate the preview and get what we want. But yeah, we could simply regenerate it. And as you can see, it would give us a more accurate photo of it. So yeah, that's nice. So let's just simply save it. So yeah, we can also go and pick some voices for our character. For example, let's select this one. Yeah, we can select this and simply click on save. So yeah, we have our two characters here 
and we can simply click on Create Project. Now, as you can see, it's extracting the scripts that will be used to create the storyboard for us. So then, as you can see, it's done with all of it, and you can simply download each scene on here. And as you can see, this is basically the scene description. You can go over here to edit it, and it'll take you to this editor where you can fine tune the current image or create an entirely new image from this particular scene. Then over here, you can use the camera control to zoom in and pan out. And you can use this tool to basically edit any parts that you want. For example, first of all, what you have to do is just enable it. Once you enable it, then you simply highlight any parts that you want. For example, we have this parts here, and then we can simply say something like, and then click here for it to generate. So then, as you can see, it's done generating and it looks a lot better. Then over here, you can do a whole lot of editing too, but we can just leave it like that and click on here to save it. So then all the others are just really nice. And as you can see, the characters are also really consistent. Okay then, so once you're done with checking out every single scene and editing it to your liking, you can add in a new scene or you could cut it off if it's not needed. We can also change to nighttime. We can add the title or some other things like that. But let's leave it like that and click on create video. As you can see, we're taken to the timeline section over here and if you click on Generate All Videos, as you can see, you can select your models on here from VAO3 to Runway to WAN 12V. So this tool is really flexible when it comes to the model to use. So yeah, we can leave it at VAO3 and click on Generate Videos. As you can see, each and every one of them have started generating. Okay, so in no time, the videos are done generating and as you can see, it's 1 minute and 20 seconds long. And even though this was VO3 that was utilized, it drastically surpasses the 8 seconds limit. So let's simply play some of it and see what it looks like. This one has a lower glycemic index. Ah, I see. interesting. And these cupcakes are made with it. Well, here's to a breakthrough. <laughs> Indeed, to discovery. <laughs> and that was actually nice. I mean, the clips were really nice and mostly consistent, but it doesn't really matter since you can simply choose a clip like this, for example, and go over here and edit the clip. And then, as you can see, it used VAO 3 in generating each clip. So then you can simply change the action or the shots or include a dialogue of who is saying something. But this is perfect for this situation. You can simply still use this scene and simply click here on save. So yeah, all of them look really accurate. You can edit any clip you want or add any voice line you want. Okay, so then let's simply click on here to export it. And as you can see, we can export it as different file formats but let's simply click on video, and as you can see, it's preparing it, and when it's done, it'll start exporting. It's done exporting, and it just asked us to create a template, but we don't need that, and this is the full story. I think we got it. This one has a lower glycemic index. Ah, I see. interesting. And these cupcakes are made with it. Well, here's to a breakthrough. <laughs> Indeed, to discovery. <laughs> Yeah, that was really nice. Check this tool through the link in the description because you can literally use this to create long form videos and AI films, unlike most AI video gen models, like VO3 that is capped at eight seconds. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content like this.